Okay, welcome to a new episode of Nate's on the May Corner. I'm Nate, and if you're watching my show, you're in my corner. Today's episode is a pre-fight show for UFC Fight Night. Belford versus Henderson, Part 3. The trilogy to settle the scores in this uh, epic trilogy of uh, legendary middleweights. Middleweights, well, legendary middleweights, and I guess you could say le legendary light heavyweights. Yeah, but um, in this contest, they're going to be uh, middleweights. Yeah, so I'll just uh, make this quick uh, pre-fight rundown of the main card with my predictions. So, uh, in the middleweight division, in the main event, we have uh, Vitor Belfort versus Dan Henderson. Uh, and I am picking Dan Henderson to win by KO round one. Uh, I think he comes in with a flurry and tries to get a quick finish and gets it. This I, I, I think this fight could end up like shades of Weidman versus Belfort, but maybe a little sloppier. And so, yeah, I have Dan Henderson winning by TKO round one. But this fight could go either way. I got it a coin toss. I, I'm only giving Dan Henderson a 51% chance of winning, but I hope he wins. And I hope he wins, and I think he wins. Yeah, then in the co-main event, we have uh, Glover Teixeira versus Patrick Cummins in the light heavyweight division. Yeah, this one, I went back and forth on because Patrick Cummins can get knocked out from a heavy hitter like Glover Teixeira. However, uh, Patrick Cummins' last fight, I thought that could have been easily the case. But Patrick Cummins avoided the heavy shots, uh, looked to land takedowns, and I think if Patrick Cummins lands the takedowns early on, which I think he can and will, then that'll wear out the energy of Glover Teixeira, so when it gets around 2 and 3, he won't have such power, and Patrick will have better cardio and can dodge the shots that much better. And so I got Patrick Cummins win, winning by decision here. I don't think it'll be the most exciting fight. Uh, however, I think Patrick Cummins, you know, essentially lays on top of Glover Teixeira and gets a win due to points on takedowns and just overall ground control. So maybe a little ground and pound thrown in the mix. I don't think he gets a, any big submission um, on the top. So I got Glover, uh, Patrick Cummins winning by unanimous decision over Glover Teixeira. Then in uh, the Bantamweight division we have Thomas Almeida versus Anthony Burchek. Yeah, this one, I you know, I feel like it's a no-brainer. I mean, nothing against Anthony Burchek, but Tom Salmeida is the real deal. He's proved it. I, you know, look at his record. He's a finisher, too. So I got Almeida winning by first-round knockout. I think uh, he comes in with a flurry and gets it. And it'll be flashy. I think Thomas Almeida makes a statement here and proves that he needs to be fighting top 10, maybe top 15 uh, Bantamweights in his division. So, um, yeah, Thomas Almeida is uh, the real deal. I think this fight will prove it even more so if he hasn't already in people's eyes. So, yeah, Thomas Almeida, first round knockout win. Then in the, uh, let's see, we got, yeah, in the lightweight division we have uh, Alex Oliveira versus Piotr uh, Holman. Yeah, you know, this is, um, these are two fighters with good grappling skills. But, let's see, I got uh, Oliveira winning by decision here. I think the hometown crowd, um, you know, just plays in his favor and he works off that. Yeah, I think uh, Oliveira. Uh, lands more strikes. I think uh, some takedowns are stuffed here because both have good, solid uh, takedown defense. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, this. This will be an okay fight, I think. Uh, it's a good even matchup, but I think Alex Oliveira gets it done. Um, you know what? Maybe by, by knockout, but I'll lean towards decision. So uh, yeah. Alex Oliveira wins by unanimous decision, I think, uh, 29, 28, or 30, 27, um, due to strikes. You know, I think this is a hard-fought fight. It won't be 
insanely easy or handed to Alex Oliver because Piotr Holman, he's been in there uh, with some of the best. So, there you have it, picking Alex Oliveira by decision, unanimous. Then, in the, uh, also in the lightweight division, we have Gilbert Burns versus uh, Rashid Magomedov. Yeah, you know, Gilbert Burns is tough. You know, you got a tough Brazilian, and then you got Rashid Ma Ma Magomedov. And, yeah, you know, again, this fight is evenly matched. And I ended up picking... Uh, Gilbert Burns, I think submission round two is uh, justifiable in this fight because Gilbert Burns, he's he's a submission ace, and Rashid, you know, he has his sambo wrestling background, but you know, it's this isn't you know, Khabib Nurmagomedov we're talking about. This is, you know, the you know he's 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 a, he's okay, but he's beatable and he's submittable. Um, yeah, you know, Rashid's tough, but I think Gilbert Burns has it in this one. Uh, I think, yeah, he works off the home field advantage, and he works his submission skills, uh, and eventually, I think he goes for submissions in the first round, and then the second round, he could land probably, um, a triangle choke of some sort, or maybe a rear naked choke. Yeah, then, uh, and the, uh, Light heavyweight division, we have uh, Fabio Maldonado versus Corey Anderson. Yeah, th now this one, I, I think Corey Anderson, this is his coming out party. Uh, I think he wins by unanim unanimous decision. I think uh, Fabio Maldonado is just, uh, you know, it, it's, it's uh, this is almost like a passing of the torch, so to speak, type match where, you know, we, we all know who. Fabio Maldonado is the you know the more diehard or core fans know who Corey Anderson is you know he won season 19 Ultimate Fighter and it's like but you know not not everyone knows who he is yet and I think this is the one where he beats a big name gets his name out there uh, so yeah I got uh, Corey Anderson winning by unanimous decision I think that he uh, gets some takedowns. I, I, I don't think he's going to stand and want, he's, I don't think he's going to want to stand and trade with a guy like Fabio Maldonado. He's going to want to use that reach, pepper him with strikes, and then look for the takedowns early on, single and double leg takedowns, work his wrestling skills, get the ground and pound, and Fabio Maldonado can take hits, so that ground and pound will just last for three rounds and en route to a unanimous decision win for Corey Anderson. So there you have it. There's my picks. Stay tuned in the coming days for my post-fight show of this exciting card. And yeah, the prelims are stacked too. You've got Johnny Case on there and you've got Clay Guida on there. And yeah, so watch the whole card. This whole card is exciting. And yeah, stay tuned. Until then, see ya.